Kayla, please like and subscribe. <laughs> so, Trucker, welcome. It's nice to have you. I see your yeah, whiteboard you. still has a lot of information on it that we'll try to decipher <laughs> later. Get all the <laughs> sluice out there. Yeah, well, all it is is uh, still the, the old vulture goals. And uh, now up top is all the spaces that I have all uh -huh. lined up. That's good. So, you know, been extremely busy. So I'm basically, since you've been here before and we've kind of talked through some stuff, I just want to give you the opportunity to just start off by kind of just telling us what you got going on. Because there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, there's a ton. Um, yeah, I'll go through like a little a little base and then we'll uh, we'll build from there, I guess. Um, so, as you know, we were doing Walter um, and then we kind of took a turn. I didn't want to leave anybody in the dust. So because I still wanted to keep building. So we moved everybody from Walter over to here. Actually, we just got the uh, liquidity move today. So that was that was pretty cool. We're, we're getting everybody together, earning trust. So besides that, we started with uh, Interlink. Now Interlink, I wanted to build something that was for everybody because you know I'm like I love Unite DeFi and trying to bring people together. It's like my main goal with with everything that I pretty much do for years. Um, so I figured, you know what? I'll just make a project that's dedicated to that. Bring every project in, investors, absolutely everybody. Um, so we are, I mean, we're in pre-sale right now till the 23rd and our launch, we're going to do a buffer week for uh, our launch is the 30th. So the main goal is to, we have, we're going to launch with staking and yield farming. So not a lot of projects do that. So what we're doing is uh, we built, um, we built a telegram a discord and we're just trying to get go to every project and see if they want to be an alliance member now with the alliance member you'd be able to come a rewards member in our d app for staking and yield farming so you can actually go on our platform you have to stake interlink token and then you're going to have a drop down menu you can either choose interlink will be to the default bnb or any one of our alliance members will be a rewards token so it's bringing everybody together. How that's, many that's how many cool. members do you have right now? Right now, I believe we have, I think it's 12. Wow. Um, I can read them all off quick. We just sure. did one today too. Uh, so you guys got me? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So right now we have Dive Wallet, um, High as a Giraffe, User Token, Rev token, Crift, Avail token, Master Key Finance, Lucian, the Man token, Baby Yolo token, which didn't launch yet, Bundy, Blockbusters Tech, and all of the Mirror tokens, all the Mirror Protocol tokens. So people can choose out of that plus BNB and plus the uh, Interlink token itself. Yes. Okay. Now, what's awesome. is there's no lock period. I so do like that. Zero, zero to 45 days. There's a, uh, I think, I think it's a 15% early staking fee, early on staking fee. But after 45 days, it's zero. Now, while you're doing the staking, you can choose, uh, you can choose uh, Crift for today. All right, you know what? Tomorrow I'm going to choose Prevail Token. You can switch it. Claim oh. and switch. You can keep switching between whatever tokens you want. So I thought that was extremely neat because it lets you diversify your whole portfolio. Mm -hmm. um, now, it's only one token at a time, which is the downfall, but that's on me because I didn't, I didn't even think about that later on until I had a couple of people ask me if you could choose two or, or three and do percentages, which that's huge, but that's like a whole different ballgame. I mean, later on, it might be in the cards. Well, something if enough people, um, that's a, that's another, I'll just bring it up now. Um, the community is going to be massive in this. So they're going to have a lot of decisions. Um, instead of me just saying, all right, me and the, the team, um, which is my buddy Mike and Ben. They're actually from the bull market uh, crew. Um, they put everything on their 
their back burner for now and they're helping me. I mean, it's tremendous with the, the work they're putting in. Um, but everything, it's not going to be, all right, you know what, we're going to do, we're going to launch this product. We're going to do this. We're going to, we're going to list here. We're going to come up with a small group of what we think we should do and then put it up to a community vote. So the community is almost going to help build this project. So it's say if we have, uh, I, I made the marketing wallet, it's buy and sell is 5%. 3% goes to staking, 2% goes to marketing and development. Now the reason why I made it development is so we can have choices like that. So say if uh, there's $1,000 in the marketing wallet, and the listing on, we'll just say CMC is going to be $1,000. We can either do that or we can do another option like uh, XYZ wallet is going to cost $2,000 to list us. What should we do? Should we save up that much more or what should we do? So I'll put it up to a community vote for a day or two. So it's, it's well, I want to be community focused is pretty cool. And uh, I have a ton of these projects that are on board. They're always uh, helping retweet. They're coming into our spaces. The Discord is built. Like, I don't do Discord either. Like, Ben is the master <laughs> mm -hmm. of Discord. Like, he made all these little things. I tell him, like, hey, we should do this. And he's like, sure, he'll put it right on. So Lucian and uh, and High as a Giraffe, I'm sure you could tell what both of them are all about. Um, <laughs> so we ended up making a, a little 420 space for him. So yeah. I'm in there and was like, hey, you guys go in there. I want you to meet like this is not about Interlink. I want to see you guys meet because I think they have something that can actually go together. Like from what Lucian has, Lucian Buds and High as a Giraffe, like I think they can merge and, and do something pretty good. So you, ha you have your own yeah. space in it. So and then there's gaming. There's there's enough for everybody because everybody is so divided in their little bubble. You have this group over here, this group over here, and realistically, they're not part of the team, but they're fighting like it. Mm -hmm. And they have that's how all this crypto stuff is. I know it's going to be an, an extremely hard task. I mean, I've got pushback from it from a lot of people. Like, oh, so many people have been trying to do this. I've been trying to do it for a long time, just never had a project. I'd always do spaces like Unite DeFi, and I mean, I've had spaces to where people hated each other. Like I actually had to go over and be like, Hey, can you unblock him so he can come up and help talk? Like, and they did, they, they worked together, which is awesome. So I figured I'll take the jump and we'll go from there. I actually, I'll, I'll talk on that for a second, because I think the thing about discord that turns people off is that you have to join so many different groups and then it becomes very hard to cycle through it. You know, I'll have, 20 some notifications on my phone and I have no idea if it's at like at an everyone or if it's actually at me. And then when I click on it, I can't find it. And it's like, mm -hmm. I know I'm ignoring people at some, I'm not all of them are directed like to me, but even when I'm tagged in it, I can't find it. I can't figure it out. And I've always thought one discord with a bunch of people like you've done, because I know when we went in there, there were people from almost every other Discord I'm in, all in a one-stop shop. Because also, my only, and it's not really like I'm not angry about it, but my only other gripe about Discord is, I feel like every project that has one feels like they have to put things on it all the time, even when it, mm -hmm. it's not really that big of a deal. So if you had a one-stop place, which is kind of, I guess, like Twitter or X, but if you had a Discord where you had separate little channels on the side, but then when people really did have something they wanted the masses to see, it would make it way easier for a guy like me that just is not going to sit on Discord all day long. Because we, we want to support people, but we're not the only ones that have lives outside of what's going on here. And I just think that idea is great. I think it's something i hope it takes off i hope that that is something that people will really gravitate towards because i for one am all about it so kudos yeah, to mean, you on that have, we have i mean we have a good following that's coming up on uh on twitter um we use telegram a lot telegram is just like it's just simple it's like a huge message yeah. chat 
Um, and then the Discord is, I mean, that's pretty much just a hangout spot. Like, mm -hmm. I don't go in it all the time. Once in a while, I'll look in it. I'm in the same boat. Like, I get lost in it. Like, <laughs> one of my buddies, that's, uh, he, he's got a huge community. He's got, like, 400 channels. And he's like, oh, you got to come into this oh. room and talk to us. I'm like, I don't even know where the room is. Like, you need directions <laughs> on how to get to the Discord rooms. Like, look at me. I couldn't even figure out how to get into the podcast today. <laughs> So it's like, <laughs> which is basically what we use Discord for, is so that we it's an yeah. easier way to get everybody together. Yeah. The quality was better than Zoom or anything like that, so we did that. But I'm with you. I mean, people will go into our Discord and say something to us, and I'll notice I don't even see it for like five days. <laughs> like, <laughs> hi, <laughs> sorry. I know that either whatever you want to talk about is way outdated, or I, we really look like jerks because nobody said anything to you. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's a great idea, man. I think I really hope that takes off because um, I understand that each one of them kind of need their own thing from time to time. But if there was more of a hangout spot, and then when I did get a notification from a project Discord, it would be something that I, you know, I would super interest me like, oh, I need to go read this because it's not eight times a day or 20 times a day or whatever it may be. So I just, I just want to throw that out there. You brought that up and I, and I thought that was a great idea and I'm rooting for it. I hope it takes off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's there. So anyone's convenience, they want to come in and they can, they don't have to just go join other people's discords and, and get lost in it they can come here like we're looking at each other like we're we're a hub right like a central mm -hmm. hub that that's we can a be great way of putting it all these, other, all these other projects so i mean everyone's working together so far and it is great um we've had so many projects come in there that are alliance members that are all working together with each other and then we have a bunch of members from us go over there and we're all talking. It's it's definitely working out pretty good. Well, it actually um, opened my eyes to a few projects that I didn't really know anything about that I saw chatting and doing different things, which made me go look at them that I don't, I'm not sure I, they would, I would have seen them um, if it wasn't for that. So I think it's good for them too. Yeah. I mean, so when I was doing uh, when I was doing Walter, I was kind of trying to do the same thing, mm -hmm. like bring other projects on and, and bring everyone together. I mean, it worked a little bit, but then I also, on the other hand, had a bunch of people who, uh, like, we would retweet all their stuff, and then other projects wouldn't really push ours so much, or like, yeah, yeah we want to be a part of it, and then they were like, see you later. So it was, I mean, now this is, it's getting built way better than it was. I think a big part of it is I'm doing it, I'm trying to do it as professionally as I can. So with the staking contracts and stuff, all you have to do, all I need from you is your contract address and that's it. And, uh, and I can take your picture off of Twitter and actually I can put you on the, the staking platform. I don't need any liquidity, but I don't want to do it like that. I want to build relationships. So mm -hmm. each one that I reach out to, I send them a message on Twitter Hey, this is what I'm doing. If you would like it, I would email you everything. I email them a proposal. They get back to me. We'll do a Zoom meeting or something. So it's right off the bat, I'm building a relationship with the team and the CEO. And then we bring our communities together. I mean, you can, I've had people also that are like, uh, not really interested because some people want to stay by themselves. Yeah. Some projects want, and that's, I'm totally okay with that. Like, I just want to give you the option. So, and then we can also do like Bundy. Bundy, I guess doesn't have a team like they have a bunch of people like influencers to help them. So, I mean, I reached out to a bunch of them too. And all of them said the same thing. Like we ain't got no problem with it because we don't own it. Like it's, so I put that up to a community vote and of course it went to yes. So we threw it right on. So that was the only one so far that we didn't, uh, we didn't really talk to a, a CEO, but there was no need. So let me ask you that about the community-driven project that you have here in uh, Interlink. When you do have situations arise where there is a decision to be made, how do you get th that vote together? As in, like, how do we put it, how do we figure out the vote to put on the Twitter or something? Yeah, so is all of it, not only that, but also uh, is that where the vote takes place is on Twitter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we. Have, I think we were going to do that too um, on Discord. I was going to do a. Uh, it would call it like the voting booth, mm. but not a lot of people, like you were saying, not a lot of people use Discord. 
So I think most of our interaction is on Twitter or X. So gotcha. me, me, Mike, and Ben, we figure out like what our best uh, our best options are. We're not going to like throw some crazy thing out there. We're going to say, right. all right, we want X, Y, and Z. All right, we all pick one. We all decide on them. Like whatever happens, whoever votes for what, it's still going to be a good outcome. And we'll throw it onto X and say, you got to pick one of them. Whatever happens from there, that's that's what the majority of the community wants. So whenever it gets to that point there, I, mean, I guess what I, what I was also thinking is, so you three are going to sort of vet the outcomes so that nothing super crazy happens, yeah. and yeah. but give the community the final say. Yeah, oh, oh we're going to list on CMC for $1,000, or we can save up $50,000 and build a blockchain. Like, yeah, we're, we're taking away that, and okay. we're, we're giving a little bit. Gotcha. So let me ask you this. What makes this interlink token, what makes it unique? Is there one thing that stands out to you that makes it unique in this uh, in this market? In this market? Yeah, or just in, in this space in general? I think pretty much the uh, trying to bring people together. Okay. That's, I think that's the most unique part. Um, there's been a bunch of projects that have tried it. And haven't gone that well. I've had a couple CEOs reach out to me, like, good luck. Like, we've tried it and got nowhere with it. Is the best, I think the biggest downfall that I have, which I've only heard it from, I think, one or two people, is that oh, you're he's just trying to bring people from other communities to steal money from the other, from the other one to bring over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see that. But if you see what we're building, it's not like that at all. Like yeah. we're, I paid for, um, for everything so far, staking, yield farming, um, the launch, all that is paid for. Nothing is going to get returned to me on launch. So you're not going to see one of those big red candles to be able to take all that money back. I'm buying in like everyone else. Like it's, there's not going to be any like false narrative of trying to take communities. It's honestly trying to bring people together. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I think that also it, where we're at in most people's uh, journey through crypto, especially over the last two to three years, is you are going to have those people that are going to be skeptical. You know, and I, and I do think that part of that is a good thing. I think people probably should be skeptical at some level. But um, it's just that when it comes to what you're trying to build, that's always the same thing I hear over and over again. Well, I can only support one token because... You know, if I support it and all the people go there, now nobody's going to buy the token that I first bought. And which I think is super silly anyways, because we preach diversi diversifying all the time, you know. Yep. And so, yeah, I, 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 I'm sure you'll run into that. Not, I know you have. I'm sure there'll be more of that. Um, but, uh, yeah, we wish you the best on all of that for sure. Is there yeah, anything else not, about it that you want to talk about? Because I don't want to skip over anything, um, but I also don't. I also want to respect your time on a Sunday recording this with your family and stuff. So, and we have to do nasty taste tests still. Yeah. So, <laughs> and Caleb's got so, some like, question for us. But go ahead. Uh, on the uh, on the nineteenth, we're doing a pretty big space, and I mean that is that's going to be the one to listen to for everybody. Whether you're looking to invest, whether you just want to want to learn, um, we have our developer actually coming up and explaining everything. What time is that? What time is, yeah, what time is that? That is the nineteenth. One second, I could bring it right up. That is March nineteenth at three p.m. PST, so it's six p.m. EST. So five here, okay. Are you going to be recording so, that space? Yeah, that space is going to be recorded. That's going to be uh, on X. Because I have a um, meeting and I will not be able to listen to it live, but I will go back and pay attention to it if you record it. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it'll be a lot better coming from him. We can, we can only talk about so much, and it's mm -hmm. like I can – he'll be able to do it in, like, such detail that people are like mm – -hmm. anytime he talks to me in bed, it's, like, mind-blowing how like knowledgeably is um we are going to be announcing something that's going to be like extremely cool 
um, another big utility. Um, starts with a D. <laughs> <laughs> That's our hint. Because this actually come out on Monday, so the 18th. So then you'll be able to uh, launch that on or tell everybody on Tuesday. So hopefully people will, will listen, you know. And I, and I do, just so you can kind of see our world a little bit, sometimes we do get um, the community will say, hey, how come you didn't dig deeper into this topic or the technical aspect of it or whatever? Whereas what we're really trying to do is bring some awareness, um, ask some questions, um, especially some of those projects have been out a while, maybe even some tough questions. But with the technical aspect and that side of it, we kind of leave that up to you and your devs in those sort of atmospheres with the space and things like that. So... Um, I definitely pay attention to the whole circle when it comes to entertainment, but then the, the, you know, the technical side of it. So we'll definitely be on the lookout for that. I wish I didn't have that meeting or I would, I'd be there live. Yeah. Another thing I forgot is, uh, we actually just got our audit back. Mm. Uh, we had solid proof to a audit, uh, audit from the staking end contract. So I told you, I'm trying to do this like as best as I can. So everything that I thought of, like over the years of me being in projects and what I've seen and like the negatives, the positives, I'm trying to move along those lines. So like the staking and yield farming and simple swap is gonna be right off the bat at launch because I hate waiting. Like that was my big thing, like all the projects, all right, you're gonna do, we're gonna have this and this and this, and we're gonna bring this out. Okay, well, then you're going to launch and we got to wait X amount of days or months or years till something comes out. I don't want to do that. Like I have somebody that's building, ready to go. And as soon as we're ready to announce something, it's already getting worked on. So yeah, like our like announcement not on the 19th, that's not going to be no three, six month project. Like that's going to be quick. And everyone's going to realize what Interlink is all about then and how this is all going to work and help other projects. So that's going to be, yeah, I can't wait. We're, we're definitely excited. excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Holly, do you have any questions? I know we're having some problems with your mic, so I'm going to give you a second and we won't say anything. <laughs> and then Greg laughs. <laughs> it just screws it up. Is it my turn? <laughs> no, I don't really have anything. I um, I I feel like you guys have been like super straightforward with it, what you're gonna do, especially with me. I mean, if I have questions, I'm I just ask them. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I mean, I did have some issues with their pre-sell actual the actual link, and so and I know other people did as well, and they kind of heard us and came up with the swapper contract that's super easy. You just literally send B and B to it. And then it does everything else. So you just kind of wait for that. But I don't really have questions. I, I feel like it's, I feel like you're a good person to unite DeFi with the connections that you do have. And so I'm excited. I mean, there's no, I don't see anywhere how any of this could be any drama. If you don't like a, a project, don't pick them as your rewards pick somebody else easy simple it doesn't have to be like a my my project's better than yours type situation because everybody's there mm -hmm. so i agree with you 100 percent. i hadn't even thought of it like that but there's so many so many people that have i don't want to call it hatred but just a dislike for a project or whatever and if that's the only choice i may not invest in it or you know because they can't stay and get what they want but with all those choices there's a couple of them on there i'd be excited to stake and get rewards in for sure so and if you don't like any of them, you can always get B and B, right? I mean, that's yeah. that's a good thing. <laughs> so yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and it, it's like she was saying, like you don't have to interact, you don't have to talk or, or get one of those other tokens. Like we have a couple projects on there that it's not like unseen. Like a lot of people don't like a lot of people from other places. But talking to the companies, I, I tell all of them, there's not going to be any like hate or anything it's pretty much you coming on we're trying to bring all everyone together and you can they can choose your token you can choose their token it doesn't matter 
So they're all on board with that. I haven't had one person come back and say, you know what, you have that person on there. I'm not dealing with that. Yeah. So it's, they're, they all see the vision of what's about to happen. So, well, there's so much. That, div- yeah. Go ahead, trucker. I'm sorry. You see a good point with that swapper contract. A lot of people like, we didn't want to do pink sale. So we made a uh, pre sale page. And uh, a lot of people were having difficulties. Like it was, it's like with Trust Wallet and all that. Like if you go to Connect, it makes you go to Ethereum first. Then you got to go to the three dots. And it's like, mm-hmm. so we're like, you know what? We listen to everybody. I mean, Holly was the only one that was giving us trouble. So we made a swapper contract <laughs> just for Holly. Just for Holly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it super simple for everybody. You know what's cool about that, though, is I saw the interaction with that on X, and those sort of things are the ones that make me go, "Man, eh, okay. Because I think you get more loyalty from people when things don't necessarily go really smooth and you still take care of it than you do if as everybody's awesome when everything's perfect in the world. But yep. the people that I use in my private life as, you know, contractors are the ones that take care of me when things didn't go so well. So I think that's good, but... You know, also, I was just going to speak, you know, on the division part of that. It's not just in this space. It's also just in the world. There's just so much division. I think if you can bring all those people together like you're trying to do, I think a lot of them will figure out that there's not a lot of difference between the people that are investing their money. And maybe they can just bring a little bit more uh, friendly vibe to the whole scene. You know, because so many people got burned in the past with different things. I feel like that just turned them a lot, a lot of people bitter. And we've talked about it before. I'm not going to get on a soapbox, but I just hopefully something like this can kind of turn the tide a little bit and, and make it um, kind of like it used to be where people respected one another and they didn't always have to agree, but they could at least respect the opinions and find out that maybe through something like this, that we're all not that different. So oh, if you take crypto out of it, and put all of us into a little bar or something like that, we're all going to talk about something and mm-hmm. get along. Like, yep. that's just how it is. Yep. Right now, it's just divided because you like this and I like that. So yep. people are still with it. And I always think that's weird, too, because, like, if you talk, if you sat down and you had 32 people and they all rooted for a different NFL team, doesn't mean they hate the other people. I mean, unless maybe you're a Raiders fan, then, you know, I can't be, I can't get along with you, but I'm going to be okay with most of the people in the room, right? It's the same thing with crypto, but for some reason, I think since we have skin in the game, people take that to the next level and it's, it's just, it's a little yeah. bit disheartening, but I feel like there's a turn. The tide's changing a little bit on that and things like this for sure will help that. Yeah. So it's, um, too is everyone got so divided when we were in the uh on the bear market because mm-hmm. i mean yeah. you had everybody that had a ton of money in it and all of us were way down mm-hmm. so it's yeah. like everyone already it wasn't hatred towards everybody it was just like in general yeah like so it, it wasn't good but now i think with the bear, uh, bull market coming everyone's gonna have their spirits lifted let's go and uh yeah, we're, we're going to start start pushing. So. Yeah, the last couple of weeks have been super exciting. I've actually enjoyed watching the charts again and planning on some of my sells and buys and bought a few dips this earlier or mid this week and got my bag goals finally to where I wanted them. And I'm just sitting back and waiting for that time to kind of get to where the price needs to be to uh, make some money. So it's exciting times. Caleb, please like and subscribe.